Hey everybody, welcome back. Behind the bar with me this evening. Uh, tonight I picked up a little beer on a whim at uh, my local store. I'm pretty readily available across the country, but we are checking out Dragon's Milk Reserve from New Holland. It's their bourbon barrel stout with coffee and chocolate. This is one of the reserve editions that they did in barrels with uh, yeah, coffee and chocolate. They've done a few versions of it. So it was on the shelves. Um, seems to be pretty readily available, so I figured I'd do something local um, and see what we think. This one's clocking in at 11%. Um, aged with coffee and chocolate, rich, indulgent, cho uh, sorry, aged with coffee and chocolate, rich, indulgent chocolate flavors are seductively punctuated with dark and roasty coffee, bit coffee bitterness. Um, yeah, so I've had Dragon's Milk before, um, barrel aged, um, style from New, New Holland. It's pretty uh, available everywhere and it's, it's pretty good. It's nothing crazy. Um, pretty thin mouthfeel, um, not overwhelming in any way at one area or two up front but it's pretty good beer um so i figured i'd check this out and see what i thought so pours out um into the avery chalice um pretty much pitch black not really getting any light even through the bottom um so yeah maybe a smidge 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 right at the edge but pretty much just pitch black um not a lot of carbonation to speak of um doesn't look terribly thick in the glass um but like i said not a lot of carbonation um getting some good alcohol legs though um but just kind of a mocha cinnamon uh head that's completely gone already big bubbles but let's dive in and see what it smells like um big coffee bitterness on this I'm getting coffee a little bit of chocolate a little bit of sweetness i'm assuming from the barrel like uh, that uh, vanilla um toasted coconut bourbon sweetness but just a smidge, not a ton. Uh, primarily the nose is just a coffee for me. Yeah, just big roast, kind of bitter. It smells like a real bitter coffee, but a little bit of chocolate, but I'm not getting a ton. Some roasty malts for sure. Like I said, not a ton of barrel, a little sweetness, a little vanilla, but not. it's not real forward. Primarily what I'm getting on the nose is the coffee in this, and it's real roasty, real bitter. Not getting a lot of booze for 11%. Smells, it's definitely hidden on the nose. But it smells pretty good. So um, let's dive in, see what we think. Cheers, guys. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty solid. Um, it, it's It's got a big, big coffee. Um, dark chocolate, dark fruits, figs, dark cherries. More so than I was picking up on the nose. It's not, for something that's bourbon barrel aged, it's got kind of a barrel smoothness to it, but it's not barrel forward. This is not a hot beer in any way, shape, or form, especially at 11%. This is really easy drinking. I'm getting a little warmth, like right back here maybe. Um, but overall, just there's, there's some dark chocolate, maybe some baker's chocolate. A, a smidge of vanilla sweetness that bitter coffee's there not a lot of barrel presence it's kind of a green coffee though it's it's pretty bitter by no means a terribly like smooth coffee not like cold pressed or anything like that but not bad it still tastes pretty good it's not off-putting by any means as far as mouthfeel you can tell the, the carbonation is not real there really there um it's kind of a thinnish beer um, from a stout standpoint, it kind of looked that way in the glass. And it's a little thinner. But for mainstream barrel-aged stout with coffee and chocolate, this is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to put it up in, you know, like a world-class category, even kind of middle A. Um, but solid A-. minus. I'm going to give this a 91. Um, really, like I said, for 11%, pretty easy drinking. Um, good coffee profile. The chocolate's there. Um, it's just, it, for me, it's just thin. Um, it's thin, a, not watery, but just kind of that thin, like you almost get like a watery sense to it, but it's not technically watery because the flavor profile is definitely forward. The one thing I'm missing from this, this must not have been in barrels very long. Um, maybe it says on here, um, 
Flavored stout and bourbon barrels. I'm not. There's not really any bourbon. If you like your, if you don't like your bourbon stouts, very bourbon forward, and just adds a little bit of sweetness to it. That's all this is doing. It's not really adding a ton of barrel flavor. I'm not getting any like charred oak. I'm not getting any like um, tobacco. I'm not getting a lot of vanilla or toasted coconut, um, and I'm just not getting a lot of like bourbon like sweetness um, or heat. So it's good, not great. Um, it's it's definitely worth drinking. I don't know. It's pretty pricey. Four four bucks a bottle. I mean, it's not bad. Um, that's pretty, you know, for, you know, compared to 12 ounce bottle of this, you know, Bourbon County usually when it comes out in the area, six to seven dollars and the old size bottles like this or a little smaller than this. So that's not bad. Um, it's worth picking up if you like stouts and want to try one that's pretty easy drinking. This is one if you're not huge into bourbon barrel stouts or you're just kind of getting into it, might not be a bad one to pick up to really get in because it's not terribly forward with its flavors, but you do get a lot of what you would get out of a really big bourbon barrel stout. So tasty stuff. I mean, it's easy drinking. I'm almost done with the, the third of the bottle that I poured out. Um, so yeah, we'll go 90. I'm going to go 90 out of 100. Um, like I said, it's an A beer, A minus, still, I mean, this is not bad beer by any stretch of the imagination. I would definitely drink this again if I saw it on tap somewhere or something like that. So, good stuff. We'll leave it there, guys. 90 out of 100 from behind the bar. Uh, thanks for the likes, subscribes, and comments. Until next time, cheers.